Hello YouTube, Merry Christmas everybody and Happy Holidays. This is Wake Run Collapse and this is my 300th video on this channel. I'm really, really happy about that. And in front of me to celebrate, I've got a bunch of coke. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not Tony Montana. This is 11 separately wrapped packages of Pokemon Japanese cards. And it comes with a great story and a huge recommendation from a seller. Okay, so if you saw my recent Gargantuan BCBM from the SMG Quest, you would know that I'm now starting to collect the third generation of Japanese Pokemon cards. And I was able to get a ton of stuff off of him. I think I ended up getting three out of every eight cards that were available. And that was an excellent start to the set. But ultimately, I was going to need a way to collect all the commons and uncommons that were going to be on my wants list. You know, the, the missing pieces, as it were. Most EXs and Hollows, and even the Gold Stars, will eventually become available to me to purchase, but the Commons and Uncommons are the big challenge. So I went to the only place that I knew I could. I, well, I knew I could go to Collector's Cash, but they didn't have that much, and there were several sets they had no single cards from, so that wasn't going to be my solution. So instead, I wrote an email to Jimmy at the Card Collector UK. This guy is amazing. I've dealt with him a couple times before. I've gotten a lot of single cards off of him. And I believe my boxes of Bonds to the End of Time and Galactic's Conquest were from him as well. And we worked that one out through uh, email also. So I emailed him, I said, I'm looking for several hundred cards from a variety of sets. Um, is there any way that you might be able to help me out? And he says, sure, send me, your, send me your wants list, let me know what it is. And I was like, yeah, take a few days. I sent him an exhaustive wants list of basically everything that was below non-holo rare. Because he sells non-hollow rares, hollows, and above on his website. And I came back from an email from him uh, a couple days later. And he had over 250 of the cards that I needed. Which is... It's unbelievable. Like I, I can't even put into words how happy I am about it. I ended up paying 50 cents per common. And 75 cents per uncommon. That was actually my recommendation. And he was fine with it. And uh, I also bought a ton of hollows and better off of his website. So, these 11 bags of Pokemon cards are from him, and I'm going to end up undoing them off-camera, coming back and showing you the highlights of this incredible purchase. But he also, on top of being an excellent representation of customer service, and please, for the love of God, check out his website, thecardcollector-uk.com. Thecardcollectoruk.com. If you like Japanese collecting, if you're looking to fill in some sets, and you don't go to this website, you're doing yourself a big disservice. He was, able, he was even able to throw in a couple of extras for me, and I'm going to open them now. Looks like they're black and white promos of some kind. Uh, mysterious ones as well, so... We're going to find out what's inside... Before we get to the massive monstrosity of cards. Hey, cool, it's a, um, it's a promo pit of. Um, I think I got the Pan Sage out of this already, so, uh, that's actually really cool. Um, you can see at the bottom, it's, uh, promo number two from the Black and White series. Nice. Now let's open up the other one. And if it does happen to be the Pan Sage, um, it is going to be available for sale or trade for anybody that wants it. Assuming that's from the, uh, from the same set. But let's see what we got. Yep, it is the Pan Sage, so if anybody needs this for the promo collection or is interested in general, it will be available. You can see down at the bottom, it is number one from the uh, black and white promos. And I don't collect the promos, but they are still really nifty. So, um, yeah, you're going to enjoy a brief cut, and I'm going to open these up and find out what's inside, sort it all out for you. And this will be, well, a really fabulous and fantastic 300th video. So you know what guys, I sorted everything into their sets. I didn't sort them between sets, but I've got them all, you know, correctly divvied up for the most part. And I decided, heck, it's Christmas. Why not just show them all? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show all the cards that I got from the Card Collector UK. Now, just a quick errata here, just to let you guys know. This is a significant purchase. This costs several hundred dollars. I'm not going to put too fine a point on it and tell you how much it was, but... This purchase was a lot of money because it was very important to me to take this opportunity to collect some of these sets. And yes, I am fortunate that I'm able to do this, and I certainly appreciate it. But I also want you guys to know that I work very hard to save the money so that I can spend it on 
these things that I enjoy. And the same thing goes with when you see these big purchases from, just to name a couple of Poketubers out there, when you see big BCBMs from Star Card Collector, that guy busts his tail. He works really, really hard, and he's got a family too. And that's, I mean, as you've seen from his videos, like, he, he squeezes in all of his YouTube time whenever he can, and I think that's really admirable. And SMG Quest is wicked busy all the time, too, and yet he still works with Poketubers and posts his sale videos and his openings and everything else. So, uh, we, we do feel, obviously, fortunate that we can get these cards, but it's not like we're rich. It's not like we're just, you know, shelling out money and throwing stuff around all the time because we can. Like, the stuff matters to us, and that's why we make the conscious effort to to work our butts off, save, and be able to afford it. So anyways, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna go right through the cards. I'm not gonna show them all, well I'm gonna show them all, but I'm not gonna name all the Pokemon as I go along. A lot of this is gonna be from the beginning, uh, Neo Revelation and Neo Destiny. Just a lot of different cards that I ended up not having. I think they're for the most part commons, uncommons, non hollow rares. So might be a, a couple here and there that'd be a little bit different, but I'm sure you can uh, can peg them. Oh yeah, there's a there's a Tyranitar, uh, Neo Destiny. Didn't have this one. Uh, a couple e well, a bunch of E series cards. Uh, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five, but we're just gonna go right through them. I'm not sure if this was the same case in uh, English, but in E series one. All the non holo rares had holo counterparts with the same artwork on them, so you've got to collect them both in order to call it a complete set. Love that Steelix holo, and obviously some of these trainers are a pain to get, these energies are tough to get. E-Series 4 and 5 is also really tough to collect, so always gotta, if you're a Japanese collector especially, take the opportunity while you can and get these cards, so... That is one stack out of ten. I've got a lot to go. This is going to be a big, big video. I'm really proud of being able to collect some of these cards right here in the front because this is the web series in Japan. And I consider these cards necessary for me to call myself a complete collector. I'm trying to complete every set that you open packs to, to get the cards from. And I also consider it a set only if it you know doesn't all come in the same box. So I'm not trying to collect promos, I'm not trying to collect uh, half decks and things like that. Although I will get them if I am interested in the artwork, but uh, as you can see the uh, the web series symbol down there. Um, some of these cards are just on the cheap, so I had to get them, and I did. So uh, Definitely some uh, RCS uh, movie cards here as well too. This did come in booster boxes in Japan. And I love these energies, too. I only had a couple of them, and I was able to pick up the rest, which is sweet. And a couple of uh, odds and ends from Diamond and Pearl. Just some random cards that I needed from a couple of sets. In particular, Diamond and Pearl 1, which where I think most of these cards are from. Uh, that Soul Rock, I think, is from uh, Diamond and Pearl 4. And will end up completing a set. Okay, let's see if I can get all the names of the Japanese sets correct. Yeah, right. First of all, we're going to have EX Ruby and Sapphire. Electabuzz EX and Sneasel EX are included there. That's really cool. Like I mentioned, I don't have them uh, sorted out by... Um, I have them sorted by set, but not in order of the set. Uh, this is um, Miracle of the Desert. Only a couple cards from here. Uh, starting with this set, I think, believe it's uh, Rulers of the Heavens. Again, just picked up a couple of hollows. Uh, from right here, it's uh, Magma versus Aqua, I believe. Yep. Obviously, got to pick up those trainer cards, but Aerodactyl EX, Cradle EX, Golem EX. So nice to get these cards. They're just fantastic. And some really nice hollows, too. Gotta love that Hound Doom. Oh, right on trying to escape. And Hollow Energies, too. The only Hollow Energy that he didn't have was the uh, Water Energy, I believe. Was it the Water Energy? Yeah. It was the Water Energy, and I just got it off eBay. Like, this morning. Uh, I'm not shooting this on Christmas Day, by the way, just so you guys know. 
Um, I just got it off eBay this morning, uh, the 21st, so. Oh, crap. I uh, actually didn't show a set. I just stacked it right back into the pile, because I'm a dummy. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Undone Seal here. Just a few choice cards to show you. Wanted to give them their due. Love that Banette Hall. So for you guys that weren't around when you collected 3rd Gen, uh, myself included, it's really nice to go in and check out these cards. Alright, this set should be uh, Flight of Legends. Mr. Mime EX, and another Mr. Mime EX, because they made two of them for this set, which is just crazy. Uh, nice looking Butterfree there, Exeggutor. And next set, I believe, is it Rocket? Yep, this is um, Team Rocket Strikes Back. Already had a good amount, as you uh, may have seen from a previous video, but... They did such a great job with the artwork in this set, and I'm really, really happy about how it looks. Oh, that Celebi Hollow and the Steelix. It just can't be beat. Alright, this set is uh, Deoxys of the Torn Sky. I think it was EX Deoxys in English. Gonna start striking gold with a lot of the commons and uncommons, and that's where the awesomeness of uh, the Card Collector UK website really kicks in. Being able to complete, not really complete these sets, but get so much closer to be able to call it done. So now I can actually look at these pages and not be embarrassed by how many, um, how many holes are in my collection for these sets. And we got some hollows there. Nice to see Whiskash as a hollow. It's truly rare. And get a lot of love. Same thing with Crawdont. Mightyena. And Camerupt. They're underappreciated Pokemon in the TCG. And it's nice to see them get hollows. Back when people cared whether they had hollows or not. Uh, this set is Golden Sky Silvery Ocean. It was a very big set. Um, no, like, number of cards wise for a Japanese set of its time. This is 106 cards. And these unknowns are savage. <laughs> They're really tough to get. So getting a bunch of them is just, it's great. Because I know that it's just going to be an uphill battle from here, and I just don't want to fight that battle. So, anything I can do to... And look, look at this beautiful energy card. And this one, too. Uh, I like that Shuckle as well. They just do a great job with these artworks. It's so different from how they do them uh, nowadays. But you can really tell, once you get a couple of sets into any generation, they really start hitting their stride with the artwork. And they just look so great. So that was Golden Sky Silvery Ocean. We're halfway through this part of the video, which is insane. This, I believe, is called Mirage Forest, but somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, sets were not released in the exact same order in Japanese as they were in English, and I'm not even positive that I have them in the correct order, but I certainly did try. More energies. Lots of hollows from this set, too, guys. Love being able to introduce these into my collection. They range from a couple to a few dollars a piece, but after my huge buy from the SMG quest, I, uh, I'm looking to reduce the uh, inordinate length of my wants list, and this is definitely helping to do so. Uh, this set is Holland Research Tower. Also has 86 cards in it, and um, it's gonna, you're going to see some Delta Species cards in here as well. Like this Larvitar, so cool. You're going to see some nice hollows at the end of this, uh, this stack as well, so. I do hope that you enjoy it. Matang Delta Species. Looking nice. Uh, cute looking Azuril. Azuril's cute in every card, though. So I don't even really even know why I have to differentiate there. Some nice looking trainers. Some more energy. Uh, yeah, how about that hollow Tyranitar Delta Species as a fire type? 
or this Espeon Delta species, this Starmie. Beedrill, like Crobat, these Marowak and Sandslash, they just look so amazing. They need to bring Delta species back. It needs to happen. I don't care what people think or say, like, this is just an imperative of collecting. It has to happen. Uh, big shadow on the video. And now we're going to show Hall on Phantoms. Lots of cards to be seen here. More Delta species, of course. Where else are you going to find a Blossom as a water type? Kabuto as, a, as an electric type. Uh, Pikachu as a metal. Pichu as a metal. Uh, look at these awesome hollows. Armaldo looks great. Latios, Kabutops. I mean, all of these. Deoxys. Another Deoxys. They had a bunch of Deoxys in the set, actually. And uh, more holographic energies, too. Look really great. And that was, uh, that was Hall on Phantoms, so the next one should be Miracle Crystal. If there's 75 cards in the set, it is Miracle Crystal. Uh, yep, that's a symbol for it. So plenty to go, and only two stacks after this, guys. So, ooh, Blastoise Delta Species Hollow. Uh, is that on the right set? Yep, that is, because they weren't all Delta Species. Venusaur. Just, uh, just some of them were Delta Species, I believe, in this set. But all the holographics look awesome. Yep. Just really impressed with uh, with the Card Collector UK's customer service, being able to send all of these cards, wrapping them so well. Oh, and he actually sent me a couple of extras. I should show them before I show the last two stacks, which are my favorites. So, I should definitely reach my lazy butt over the top of this video and... Uh, he did send me a couple of cards as extras that were wrapped up in these, and I, uh, I didn't want to mess with them, so I set them aside, and now let's have a look. Move those promos out of the way. I have to remember to do that. I have a mail-in rebate for alcohol. Don't drink, kids. It's bad for you. Unless you're old enough, in which case it's really good and then really bad for you. Uh, anyways, he sent me just, uh, just a few random cards, which I really appreciated. Uh, this Glaceon, um... This is a non-hollow rare. I'm not really sure what this is, but it's pretty cool. Just like a nice little side card. Just a random thing to have. Uh, this looks like a um, fire-type energy from a Victini deck. Maybe from that uh, early in the black and white series, there was a uh, there was a deck with a lot of reverse hollows in it that might be from that. Uh, random little Swoobat from one of the black and white series. Uh, versus, I think, is that Price's Sneasel? It's somebody's Sneasel, whoever it is. And awesome extra shard hollow Genesect promo. Really cool of him to send these. I was over the moon delighted enough just to get the cards. The fact that he sent any extras just makes it that much better. So anyways, um, oh yeah, and uh, this is from him, which is cute. So, yeah. Um, this is my favorite EX, um, well, my favorite third generation set. Furthest ends of offense and defense. I've still got a ways to go. Um... I still got the Charizard um, Gold Star, the Mew Gold Star to get, and between the two of them, that's probably going to be a $300 setback, but eventually I'll find the cards for cheap enough. Can't believe the quality of these hollows. That Milotic is just unbelievable. But so many of these cards just look so good. I apologize for the length of the video, guys, but uh, this was my Christmas gift to myself, basically. This uh, this big purchase. Shelter! Um, so I definitely wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys some cards that you uh, don't always see, which is um, which is really nice. And there's one more stack at the very end that I want to show you. It's from a very hard-to-collect set, uh, basically extinct in the wild in, ja in uh, Japanese. It's the World Champions Pack. I believe you had to order these online and submit a request to get these cards in the first place. And it's a 108 card set including Fl uh, Flareon, Jolteon, and Vaporeon as gold stars. So uh, I just, I asked him, do you have anything at all from this set? And I ended up getting, I think it's about 50 of the cards uh, from the 108 card set. Uh, I've got a Metagross EX coming from Poly 100. 
and um, you know, gonna dig through everything else that SMG Quest sent me to see if there's anything um, World Champions Pack related. To see if maybe I'll be able to get some of them because they're just, I don't know, they're they're really awesome. They're really rare too. And now that I actually will have an appreciable amount of uh, the cards from this set, I can actually put them into a binder and say, hey, I'm actually working on this. And maybe even craft a wants list. I'm looking at you, Star Card Collector. Because uh, once uh, once SCC opens up to, uh, to sell some cards, I'm definitely going to be hitting them up for some of the cards that I still need from 3rd Gen. So... Thank you all very much for sitting through this hugely long video. I hope you enjoyed having a look at some cards that you don't get to see very often. I appreciate all your likes, your comments, and subscriptions. I'm thankful for all of you who spend time on my channel and can actually get some measure of enjoyment out of these cards. So, thank you very much for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hey, what's that? Wake Run Collapse has more on this video? Anyways... As a token of my appreciation for you watching this 21 minute video, I'm doing a super secret giveaway in which I give away this Japanese Scizor Hollow from Cold Flare, as well as this Japanese White Kiram EX from Cold Flare. In order to enter, all you have to do is leave a comment on this video with your favorite Pokemon. That's it, just your favorite Pokemon. And don't shout about giveaway or anything like that because then people will catch on, you'll foil the plan, and then you'll reduce your odds of winning. So thank you very much for sitting through a 21-minute video with a ridiculous BCBM, and uh, best of luck winning the giveaway.